Opposition MDC leader Douglas Manzora called President Emerson Ngogwa to voice his displeasure over the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission CEC decision to exclude 87 of the party's prospective lawmakers from running in the elections scheduled for next week. Although a court decision against them was inconsistent with what he told Ngogwa in their private meeting, Manzora, who resigned from the campaign for president last Friday in protest, told journalist Ngogwa had understood his plight. He was speaking on Monday in Harare at a discussion about the approaching elections hosted by the Media Institute of Southern Africa MISA. Currently, MDC will run 24 of the 210 members of parliament and an undetermined number of candidates for municipal seats across the nation. Monzora stated, I did engage Unengogwa because this was an aberrant occurrence where we had 87 people who were being denied the chance to participate in electoral processes. He agreed with me after our conversation. He concurred with my views on constitutional interpretation, legal theory, and public policy. We spoke as lawyers, not as the president and leader of the opposition. In accordance with the constitution, the candidates were qualified. Umning Gogwa reportedly recognized our situation. Then, what actually occurred was at odds with what he had said. We don't know whether he was lying to us or whether his own system overruled him. Along with meeting Umnengogwa, Mwanzora also spoke with Priscilla Chikamba, the commission's chairperson. And Yuto Salagwana, the ZEC CEO, who he characterized as blue. No one moved. The MDC has never failed to field more than half the anticipated candidates in a general election since it was founded in 1999. When questioned about whether this meant bearing the MDC, once a political powerhouse in Zimbabwe, Mwanzora placed the blame on his former lieutenants Morgan Komichi, Elias Matsuri, Tokazoni Cube, and Citizens Coalition for Change CCC, who were in charge of it during the most recent synchronized elections. On August 23, Zimbabweans elect a new president. Members of Parliament and Council members, 